Well, I thought I'd come out into the front before the second wave of the uh, school traffic thunders by. And uh, let's just take you around this way. <clears throat> and look at that. That's a colt chicken. And we've got some more there. Can you just see there? And um, they're um, autumn flowering cactus. So I'll take you around this way and the neighbours will be thinking she's at it again. So key spin out and done all the barriers. There we are. Let me just show you that. That's one of the yucca spikes in full bloom again. So key spin out. You'll have to excuse the shadows. And um, look at the autumn colours kicking in. Let me just show you the boundary wall. And then, look how he does, how he does the hedges. Doesn't do them straight. No. No, that's boring. So he does them. There we go. All the way down there, just round the bend. And then I can probably show you from this part. There we go. Up to where that uh, neighbour's conifer has uh, started to look unsightly. So let's take you back now. I've had to put a cardigan on, believe it or not. I thought, goodness gracious, I've gone cold. See? A neighbour uh, called in and she did say what this tree is, but I can't remember now, so let's take you back this way. Right, let's carry on. Um, we're going to have a few days like this before it's autumn proper as I call it. There's a couple of the cymbidiums and think of these little pansies. These are supposed to be winter flowering. They're, they've got bulbs underneath but the, because this is south facing and we've had such warm weather um, they've decided to flower again now. There's another little cult chicken. Very unusual. And uh, Keith's tidied all up round here. Let me see. Got everything that needed to be cut. And uh, all be coming out here. Just underplant some other things. But that's for another day, not today. Look at that. This one, I've remembered, is called Grace. We've just got the one flower. Beautiful that is. I'll hold on to it so I don't break my neck as I step round the corner here. Keith's already been out and cut last yesterday's um, evening primrose flowers off. You see, look at all the buds still to come. So these will all open when it goes dark. And then, so here we go. All these are um, flowers, shrubs that are, uh, that attract the pollinators. And if I step just over here, see there's a lot of bare earth but I can assure you things things will fill out and next year you'll hardly see any soil there you see but what you've got to do is you've got to get the actual basic done first and then everything else will fall into place and then so of course this is the area now where we're coming into the side garden. We're just leaving that nice warm 
sunshine behind, although it's not that cold here, but it's still uh, it's still quite chilly once the sun goes over. These are where I put um, two of the other cymbidiums. And I've got another one somewhere. Look at these. These pansies, look at them. And this big one is that uh, Digitalis, um, it's called Di Digitalis Milk Chocolate. So we'll have to see what that turns out like next year. There you see. These are winter flowering pansies, these are. But they're not bothered, it's nice and warm the weather, so they've grown on and, uh, and they're flowering now. I'll still come out and deadhead these. And of course we've got the fuchsias. They do better at this time of the year. And then there's some more down here, see? So let's just back up. There we go. Those there, they, they, those are foxgloves. Those are next year's foxgloves. And they came as little plug plants. And, um, and I grew them on, put them in a little pot, and then I've put them in the ground. And look how big they've gone already. And this one here, I didn't realise this. It was that neighbour who called today and I said, um, have you any idea what this is? And she said, that's a um, penstemon. So, uh, oh, there you go. See, Keith takes labels off things and then I don't know what they are. You'll have to excuse the, the wind. Because, of course, we're in the side garden and we're a little bit exposed here. These are those pansies that have... Um, In, into the garden and uh, there we go he's cleared all this area look at that hey okay. let's cut things back cut the hedges back look there's still gaps can you see that big gap there well the birds will find a home for, in that for the winter and it's just a case of getting things done because um, when our weather does change, which is predicted to be from the middle of next week, you won't find us outside very much. And then the soil very, very quickly will go very cold. Look at these. Look at these. More pansies. Keith said, uh, got some more coming in end of October I said don't worry I said I'll find a spot for all these so let's turn us round and I think we'll go over here where it's warmer okay. that's hydrangea there and that one's called limelight I'm quite thrilled with that one so there we go you see Then, oh, this is the area he's cleared today. This area, bare earth. I'll put some pansies down there, I think, because otherwise we'll get the cat scratching. And that drives me mad. Everything drives you mad. I get a certain age, and you, things just irritate you. <laughs> Keith says, "Yeah, you irritate me as well." <laughs> oh dear. Well, never mind. After 31 years, we don't fall out very often. I'll say to him sometimes, No, I'll only come halfway. No, I'm, I'm not saying sorry. No, I'll only come halfway. You'll have to say, You'll have to come halfway, and I'll go halfway. So that's how we resolve things. Anyway, there's the wedding cake tree. Look at that one. 
how big that's grown this uh, summer. Oh look, see he's cleaned all underneath, pruned the rose. And we'll come over here. This is quite a nice little seating area because this stays quite warm right through till about five o'clock. That's why the hanging basket does so well here. And that one. So this area, you see the guards for the cats scratching. Um, so this is planted up now. These are the fuchsias, the big ones. And then that big one. That's the one I wanted to show you. So we'll come this way round. And that's one of the Michaelmas daisies. Look how tall it is. These are little viola pots. There we go. Some more of the fuchsias. Oh, another little culture come there. Planted a lot of things here. That's the Michaelmas daisy. One of the uh, stems has fell forward and resting here next to this uh, hanging basket with all this colour. Oh, we've had such lovely weather. Can't tell you. We've been able to get such a lot done in the garden which normally uh, we wouldn't do. a bee on that Michaelmas daisy there. So, uh, and then when you've done it all, you see, you can sit and relax and let the autumn take care of itself. He's got to um, do this area yet, Keith has. It's one of the pots, but I think this has got summer bulbs in. Oh, uh, look at the dahlias. Look. They're absolutely lovely. I'll come round the other side and then you'll be able to see them. See? Absolutely lovely. Been under here and been planting all, everything under here. So hopefully, next come next spring, one of the tubs. Oh, there we go. These are the um, trailing petunias. That's a nice coloured one. Gloves. Oh, have I shown you? Don't know whether you'll see it, will you? Excuse that noise. Can you, can you see? Ah, it's very, very tall, that one is. There you see, this one had a pink flower on it the other day. Don't know what it's called, but. Um, Keith doesn't think it's a hardy perennial, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it might be. And then, these are the um, Lady's Bonnet um, and Terrinum. Look, they're on their second uh, burst. This is what the bees love. This purple. No idea what it's called. 
but they absolutely love that. And that's the last thing we cut back. And then, and of course, these are the iris, and these are the hostas. So uh, they won't get cut back until uh, we get the frosts. So, oh, I was doing all day yesterday and the day before, planting primulas in, pansies in, all different other perennials, deronicums. I think that's a deronicum. Yeah, it has yellow flowers on it. So, uh, like I say, you think maybe, well, there's a lot of spare earth, but I've planted bulbs as well. Believe it or not, I've planted about 400 bulbs. There's that nice grass that's coming on now. And uh, here we go. That's the uh, yellow budley and the uh, the butterflies and the bees absolutely adore that. Oh, there's another um, hydrangea. I've got the name somewhere. I stuck it on the side. Keith went mad. But otherwise, I won't, I won't remember. There we are. This is Gertrude Jekyll. Still in bloom. And whether this is the second or the third, third blooming. I mean, they're awesome that want Cutting back. But uh, this is an unusual. This is like an antirrhinum. It spreads though. It's like a perennial one. And then I've got another antirrhinum in there. Now, is it going to allow me to show you? There, look at that. Right in centre now. Is it going to focus? That's one of the big spiders. Waiting. And then, look at this. The camellias are setting bud. So we do need some rain. This is one of those half standard roses. They never really fully open. It's, it's weird, really. They just like... Um, open so far and then they don't they don't open the rest of the way and then here we go Keith with his cloud pruning this is those at the bees love and if we just go around here so there's no bees in it these are the dahlias. I think this is, was the original one. Or it could have been that one over there. I can't remember now. They're, they've all got names in. I'm got another one to open there. So they're all named. Um, and these. This one. Look at the colours. So vibrant. Oops. I've got my cut my foot caught on something. There we see. There we are. And then we've got these. I think this might have been one of the original ones. So this is called Dazzling Dahlia, Dahlia Dazzling Magic. So that's, sorry about that, that's um, one of the original ones then. I think that's uh, Lindsay, where is it, Lindsay Michelle, that one. And then so this big one here. This one is, that's this big one here, Dahlia Akita. Right, 
Uh, that's Dahlia Akita. And what's this big one? I think this big one here is Dahlia Show and Tell. So, and that's this big one. That one. Anyway, so. There's still plenty of autumn colour. bees and then there's the pond area all these pots have been emptied they're all full with bulbs and I've put pansies on the top so they're all done for the autumn there we go you see and There's another sunflower there, another rose, some antirinums, veronicum I think these pink ones are, and look at this, these are all perennials, look, my friend said oh my goodness, all came as little tiny plugs and they're all growing on, one p, one penny each. And then under here, there we go, are the cooler growing orchids. And there's some more culticums. I've got to find somewhere to put them. The ginger, can you see the ginger? The ginger lily, that's gone over now, but that won't come inside, not just quite yet. Right, so that's it. Quite tidy. There's Keith with another bucket full. And uh, I'll take my leave of you now. You can see now how the, the light is just starting to go. But never mind. There we go. Take care. Bye bye now.